While working on a tutorial around making objects buoyant within Godot, I got sidetracked trying to stop the water from clipping into the boat as it floats. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to create 3D meshes as masks to see through other objects, which can be used in various effects. Let's start by setting up the basic scene before creating the mask. Here I'm using a plane as the ground and using CSG nodes to create the wall. Now let's create the water. Add another mesh instance plane, move it into position and give it a material. This material will be transparent with a blue colour to look like water. Now let's create a simple hollow box that the water will clip into. Here I've used two CSG boxes and subtracted the smaller one from the bigger one. Now move it so that the bottom of the box is below the water surface. Now we have a scene ready, let's create a material we can apply to meshes to turn them into masks. Start by creating a new shader material and add a shader to it. This shader is going to be pretty simple. First, let's set the render mode to unshaded. Now we're going to use the screen texture for this. If you're already familiar with the screen texture from previous versions of Godot, the syntax for it has changed slightly as of 4.0 beta 17. First, let's create a uniform for the screen texture like this. And then the final part of our shader is to just set the albedo to the screen texture while making use of the screen UV, just like this. And that's it. If we create a plane mesh and apply a material to it, as long as the mesh is above the water, we punch a hole straight through it. So how does this work? Well, this effect is taking advantage of a rendering limitation within Godot. The screen texture is generated before transparent objects are rendered, meaning that the transparent water isn't present at all in the screen texture. Our shader is then taking this screen texture and drawing it over our mesh, and because the water isn't present, if the mesh is placed above the water, the area will look invisible. One thing to note, in testing, sometimes, as the camera moves, the water can appear again. To eliminate this, just set the water to a lower render priority and it will go away. You can also use this for other effects too, like if the player is inside a house and you want to cut a hole out so they remain visible. A big limitation to this implementation though, is that all transparent objects will disappear with the mask. Here's an example of the limitation in action. As you recall from before, we set the wall up as one CSG box node. And because that has now been made transparent for the cutout effect, if you place the camera in a certain way, you'll cut through both walls, both the foreground and the background, which obviously isn't ideal. I think that does it for this video. That was a nice short one. If you're interested in buoyancy, you'll enjoy the next video. Any other suggestions you have for topics you'd like covered, please leave them in the comments below as always. Cheers.